call for smart home devices to bake in privacy safeguards for kids. A new research report has raised concerns about how in-home smart devices such as AI virtual voice assistants, smart appliances, and security and monitoring technologies could be gathering and sharing children's data. It calls for new privacy measures to safeguard kids and make sure age-appropriate design code is included with home automation technologies. The report, entitled Home Life Data and Children's Privacy, is the work of Dr. Veronica Barassi of Goldsmiths, University of London, who leads a research project at the university investigating the impact of big data and AI on family life. Barassi wants the UK's Data Protection Agency to launch a review of what she terms home life data, meaning the information harvested by smart in-home devices that can end up messily mixing adult data with kids' information to consider its impact on children's privacy and put this concept at the heart of future debates about children's data protection debates about the privacy implications of AI home assistants and Internet of Things focus a lot on the, the collection and use of personal data. Yet these debates lack a nuanced understanding of the different data flows that emerge from everyday digital practices and interactions in the home and that include the data of children. She writes in the report, When we think about home automation, therefore, we need to recognize that much of the data that is being collected by home automation technologies is not only personal, individual, data but home life data, and we need to critically consider the multiple ways in which children's data traces become intertwined with adult profiles. The report gives examples of multi-user functions and aggregated profiles, such as Amazon's household profiles feature as constituting a potential privacy risk for children's privacy. Another example cited is biometric data, a type of information frequently gathered by in-home smart technologies, such as via voice or facial recognition tech, yet the report asserts that generic privacy policies often do not differentiate between adults and children's biometric data. So that's another gray area being critically flagged by Barassi. She submitted the report to the ICO in response to its call for evidence and views on an age. Appropriate design code it will be drafting. This code is a component of the UK's new data protection legislation intended to support and supplement rules on the handling of children's data contained within pan-EU privacy regulation by providing additional guidance on design standards for online information services that process personal data and are likely to be accessed by children. And it's very clear that devices like smart speakers intended to be installed in homes where families live are very likely to be accessed by children. We've seen privacy concerns raised about smart toys and AI virtual assistants aimed at children, but so far there has been very little debate about home hubs and smart technologies aimed at adults that children encounter and that collect their personal data. Adds Barassi commenting in a statement. The very newness of the home automation environment means we do not know what algorithms are doing with this messy data that includes children's data. Firms currently fail to recognize the privacy implications of children's daily interactions with home automation technologies that are not designed or targeted at them. Despite GDPR, it's left up to parents to protect their children's privacy and navigate a confusing array of terms and conditions. The report also includes a critical case study of Amazon's household profiles, a feature that allows Amazon services to be shared by members of a family, with Barassi saying she was unable to locate any information on Amazon's US or UK privacy policies on how the company uses children's home life data, e.g. 
information that might have been passively recorded about kids via products such as Amazon's Alexa AI Virtual Assistant. It is clear that the company recognizes that children interact with the virtual assistants or can create their own profiles connected to the adults. Yet I can't find an exhaustive description or explanation of the ways in which their data is used, she writes in the report. I can't tell at all how this company archives and sells my home life data and the data of my children. Amazon does make this disclosure on children's privacy, though it does not specifically state what it does in instances where children's data might have been passively recorded, i.e. as a result of one of its smart devices operating inside a family home. Barassi also points out there's no link to its children's data privacy policy on the Create Your Amazon Household Profile page where the company informs users they can add up to four children to a profile, noting there is only a tiny generic link to its privacy policy at the very bottom of the page. We asked Amazon to clarify its handling of children's data but at the time of writing the company had not responded to multiple requests for comment. The EU's new GDPR framework does require data processors to take special care in handling children's data. In its guidance on this aspect of the regulation, the ICO writes, You should write clear privacy notices for children so that they are able to understand what will happen to their personal data and what rights they have. The ICO also warns, the GDPR also states explicitly that specific protection is required where children's personal data is used for marketing purposes or creating personality or user profiles. So you need to take particular care in these circumstances.